As the petals fall, the breeze of wind gently whispers through my hair, as if telling me a secret. Despite the attempt, I simply cannot comprehend it. However, I do wish to understand it. Maybe if I did, perhaps things would have ended differently. Tell me, if I've made a different choice, would the world have given us the ending we desired? Come now, Rue. We need to prepare the meals for the royals. Uh, I'm on it! Uh, Rue? Who is... Uh, uh, um... Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to stare. It's alright. I didn't expect a kid my age to be in this area. Oh, I was just uh, helping my mom with something. It's for the royals. Royals? Mm -hmm. I felt bad for my mom, so I came here to help her. <laughs> That's really considerate of you. Your mom must be lucky to have you. She smiled. Oh, oh sorry. I just didn't expect you to smile that easily. How come? Well, you seem like the aloof type, so... I suppose people see me like that. No, wait. I wasn't trying to offend you. It's just because of how pretty you are, it's kind of difficult to approach you. Yet you approached me. Uh, you have a point. I just can't help it, I guess. <laughs> Uh, what are you reading, by the way? That's a really thick book. Uh, this. It is different from the coloring books you would usually see children read. I secretly took this from my mother's study in an attempt to learn more about management and leadership, since I may have to shoulder that one day as well. Management and the leadership? <laughs> uh, Rue! Uh, what are you doing? We're supposed to be preparing dinner for- Oh my, princess, I apologize for her behavior towards you. She, she does not mean no harm. Princess? I- it's quite a right. No need for an apology. I'm assuming Mother wasn't informed of her being here. I was planning on informing her later on. I'll relay the message for you. Will you be training her? Uh, yes, since your mother has expressed you needed more trustworthy helpers. Oh, I see. Does she have any interest towards it, though? Uh, mm -hmm. If I can help my mother in any way, then I will do anything I can. Rue, that's not... You have to think this through. Then... Let her stay for a while. But, Princess, if she displays potential and if it's truly what she wants, perhaps there may be a possibility for her to be my attendant. Attendant? Your personal attendant? Yes. By then, I'll continue to watch over her carefully. And if she meets my standards, I'll personally put in a word to my mother. This oh. is such an honor, Princess. I'll explain to her as soon as I can, but for now... Of course. Your priorities remain the same, and that is to serve the royal family. I am but a part of it. Allow that... I will take my leave. Thank you again, Princess. It was nice meeting you. Uh, Her name is Rue, Princess. <laughs> yes, Rue. It was a pleasure meeting you today. Hopefully our exchanges won't end here. <laughs> um, Mom, what's going on? Honestly, Rue, what did you do to get the Princess's interest easily? What do you mean? I have never seen her smile that much ever since stepping into this household. Maybe... You do have a gift, Rue. Huh? Listen to me. Rue? Yeah? Wait, Mom, that girl earlier... Was she the princess? Yes. And the most difficult one to deal with. Or, as they say. Let's just say, she is rather fussy when it comes to people, and most of her attendants have given up in just the span of a week. The shortest was two days. Why? With how she was raised. That in itself is a factor for her behavior. Her standards are ridiculously high, both in terms of her material things and towards people. She doesn't show that much interest in most things. Is she really? So for her to show interest towards you is... Or anything in general is already a rarity. Does that mean I can stay here with you? Rue, as much as I appreciate you're trying to help me, I'd rather you focus on what you want to do. I don't want to be someone who would be the reason for you not being able to reach your dreams. Don't let me stop you from doing what you want. I want to try. Is that truly what you want? Mm -hmm. If it gets too hard for you, don't hesitate to tell me. I will. You really are a sweetheart, Rue. Mm. Uh, is it to your liking, Princess? It needs more sugar. Right, I will get some right away. Mm -hmm. Um, princess? I- I've brought more sugar. Please, go ahead. Uh, yes! Uh, 
would this be enough, princess? Good enough. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, are you reading one of those books again? The complicated ones? Yes, I've made it my personal duty to learn more about it. It's nice to see that you're really passionate about it, princess. Passionate? I wouldn't call it that. It's simply a responsibility that I must attend to. But you like reading books, don't you? Perhaps I do take interest in reading them. Then that's enough. And you? Uh, I'm referring to you, Ru. Oh, me? I... I can't really read well yet, nor write. <laughs> what? Uh, it's a bit embarrassing, but I stopped going to school since my mom was having trouble with paying the tuition, so I just started doing self-learning, but I guess it's not enough since... Princess? I'll let someone tutor you. Uh, you don't really need to do that. I insist. I'd rather not want my attendant to be illiterate. But I can't. I'll leave it to me. I'll convince mother to let someone tutor you. But I'm still on trial, aren't I? Yet? You're already doing well enough as is. You've shown enough potential. Now it's time for you to know the basics. It's the least that I can do for you. Princess? I'd rather want my attendant to be on the same level as me rather than you embarrassing yourself if the moment comes to it. I'll let you raise your head high, <sighs> since you're my attendant. <laughs> if it's what the princess wants, then I'll do my best. Mm -hmm. Um, it's me, Princess. Ru? Yes. Come in. I've brought you your preferred drink. Thank you. Uh, where would you like me to place this? The table near me. Uh, which one? Which one do you think? The nearest one. Are you having difficulty trying to figure that out? Uh, oh, please excuse me. Oh. Where did I? Uh, here it is. Uh, let's see. Here, this one is around 11 centimeters near you. Uh, this one is... Uh, 10.4. Okay, uh, this one then. Here you go, princess. <laughs> um, princess? <laughs> uh, may I ask what is it that's making you laugh, princess? <laughs> that's the first time I've seen someone take out a ruler out of their pocket, just to. <laughs> Rule, you truly are amusing. Um, <laughs> thank you. It was quite the show. I wasn't exactly planning on that, but... If it made you happy, then that's what matters. <laughs> I suppose you caught me off guard with that. I do wonder how come you've got that ruler prepared beforehand. Oh, uh, that's because I've asked the helpers around as to what you're usually like, and they said that you're very specific when it comes to this stuff, so I just made sure. So you researched about me? Well, I wouldn't want to refer to it that way, but it's more of a... I just wanted to make sure I wouldn't disappoint you, since you've shown to hold me with such high regard. <laughs> I see. Is the drink to your liking? <laughs> it's not quite to my taste, but I'll tolerate it since it's you. Uh, did I not put enough sugar? <sighs> Princess? You seem stressed these days. Of course. The cause of that would be the paperwork my father decided to give me. How... Generous of him. Would you like me to open the windows for you? <laughs> Do as you please. <laughs> How do I make this work? If it's to make both parties satisfied. Princess? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rue, I know I've shown you favorability, but that's not an excuse for you to pull me around like this. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? So Petals. Aren't they blooming beautifully? It's at this time that they bloom fully like this. Some would even go out their way to wash them in parks. What do they call it again? Uh, flower viewing. Right now, you have the best view here. You should at least see it even for a few minutes. Maybe it can help you de-stress. Look. Oh, oh. It got to your hair. Oh, no, the petals are all over the floor. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have opened it. Up then again, I really wanted the princess to see this beautiful sights. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, princess. I'll clean it up for you right away. Thank you. Uh, perhaps this is the break I needed. Despite this beautiful scenery in my arm's reach, I chose to ignore it. I should be grateful to have such a sight near me. This breathtaking view does calm me down a bit, I suppose. I'll oh, thank you for this kind gesture, Rue. I appreciate it. 
The wind feels pleasant as well. It's like it's dancing on my skin. And I don't particularly hate this feeling. It's been a while since I've taken a breather like this. And I don't hate it. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, Princess Ursa. Huh? Call me Ursa. But, Princess- When we're alone, call me Ursa. But I- To me, you're no longer just an attendant. Please. We've been with each other for years now. Ever since we were children. Isn't it natural to drop the formalities? Let's see. You're more of a- Princess! <laughs> I've found a word, girl. Oh. You're an important childhood friend of mine. So, will you grant me this one request? To call me by my name when it's only the two of us. Oh. You've already done so much. It's the very least I can do. There's no need for you to act tense around me. Not like you were in the first place, but... Will you allow me this much? It's still a bit... Of course, for your consideration I understand it takes time. Take all the time you need. It would mean a lot to me, however, if you accept it, though. What's to say? I'd be happy. Would you not like that? <laughs> if it's to make the princess happy, then... It's not princess right now, is it? Uh, right. Uh, Ursa. Hmm? Ursa. <laughs> Good job. Well, now. Your face is as red as an apple. That does remind me. I'm feeling a bit peckish. Would it be a bother for you to get me some right now? Oh, uh, not at all. I'll go get some right away, Pr Ursa? <laughs> go on. I'll be right back with the apples. <laughs> Rue? Oh, Pr Ursa, <laughs> what brings you here, Ursa? I was simply taking a stroll to calm my nerves. Oh, wait, are you okay? I'm quite alright, don't worry. But you just said to calm your nerves. It's the usual workload, Ru. It's not a cause for concern. But you said so before. Hmm? We're friends, right? So, isn't it normal for friends to worry about each other too? <laughs> I suppose so. Is there something wrong? It's just... the paperwork. And a bunch of princess stuff, I suppose. Oh. May I lean my head on your shoulder? Oh, uh, well, I don't really mind, but what if someone were to see us? <laughs> Not a lot of people pass by here. I wouldn't worry too much. Are you sure? Even if they were to. If they snitch, I won't let them off the hook easily. <laughs> right. I just need... to de-stress. Mm-hmm. Are you tending to the flowers? Mm -hmm. I'm starting to take care of them like my mom has. I see. Do you have any flower that you're particularly fond of? Uh, if I were to choose, let's see. Mm -hmm. This one. What kind of flower is it? Uh, if I recall correctly, it's a royal dew flower. I see. It's a pretty shade of red. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of your hair, is huh? <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> Why are you the one embarrassed when you're the one who said it? Sorry. I'd have to agree with you, though. I don't blame you for being fun of this flower. <laughs> and I want it to bloom even more. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be able to, knowing your expertise in most things. I do hope so. I mean, Prince uh, of Flower Petal? Did I accidentally inhale it? Huh? Rue, oh. what brings you here? Oh, uh, I was just walking by. Are you, perhaps, slacking off again? I'm not! I was just heading off to the kitchen to get you something. <laughs> I'm jesting. You don't need to be so serious. Rue, oh. are you okay? Oh. I'm okay, don't worry. <coughs> Rue? <coughs> it's okay, I think the pollen just got to my... Petals. What? Rue. Huh? Come with me this instant. But I need to prepare your... That can wait. Oh. Let the other helpers do it. Just follow me. Okay.
Princess? How long have you been coughing up flowers? Oh, uh, uh, tell me. Just recently. I don't remember, but I just saw one earlier when I coughed. Good. That means it's still early then. What do you mean? You might not know about this, Rue, but there's a high possibility that you may have anthrocytosis, or commonly known as the Hanahaki disease. What does that mean? It's a condition that makes you cough up flower petals. It's just flower petals, right? But it worsens over time. And the cause of it is uh, unrequited love. A love? Yes. It starts off as just flower petals. But as your feelings start to grow, the pain also gets stronger. The flowers would start to bloom in the heart and lungs, which causes you to throw up the flower petals. But as time passes and your feelings become overpowering, even for you to control, thorns would start to grow and prick your insides, causing you to feel unbearable pain until the flowers pile up and uh, you ultimately succumb to choking on them. Ru, uh, please, don't worry. I won't let that happen. I promise. But, Hersa, do you have feelings for someone right now? Uh, why? Because, although it may sound dreadful, the solution isn't that complicated. A cure? Yes, that is. You'll be cured once the person you're in love with returns their affection to you. It's that easy? <laughs> I mean, the main cause of the disease is your unrequited love towards someone, so what better way to cure it through requiting it? <laughs> oh, That and a surgery. <laughs> I know how much you're scared of such rule, so I'll only put that as a last resort. Uh, but before any of that, uh, do you have any idea as to who you might hold these feelings for? I actually don't know. That's that's why I'm scared. <laughs> Please, don't worry. I'll make it my utmost priority to find that person. But you have more important matters to attend to. As I said before, you're an important childhood friend, as well as my trustworthy attendant. Of course, you'd be more of a priority to me. Marissa? We'll find that person. I'll make sure of it. I, the princess of this kingdom, Urza, promise you, my trustworthy attendant, Rue, that I will find the rightful person of your feelings. Marissa, you don't need to go that far. I will. I won't let anything bad happen to you. I won't be able to forgive myself if I allow that. Come on. Well then, why don't you try listing out the potential people that could be the object of your affection? Oh. Go on. Is it really? I insist, Rue. Okay. Quite the long list. <laughs> Sorry, I just know a lot of people. I'm not surprised. Huh? <laughs> you do have a charming personality, after all. I doubt anyone could hate you. Ursa. I shall bring this to be given attention and bring these people here once dawn comes. You don't need to do it that fast, Ursa. I insist. Jeez, what are you getting so worked up for? It seems that you've grown enough to develop feelings for someone. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> I wish you all the best, girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Ursa. Of course. You're lucky to be my attendant, Ro. <laughs> Indeed I am. <laughs> it's getting late. You best be getting rest. But I- I can tell you're still distressed by the sudden diagnosis, Ro. Take it easy for tonight. I can handle myself. I- Let me handle this, okay? Okay. <laughs> Quite the list indeed. However, despite it being this long, <coughs> my name won't ever be in it. <coughs> I'm sorry, Rue. I suppose keeping it for two years and not being caught once is something to be given credit for. <sighs> I'll make sure she finds the person before I <coughs> lose to this <laughs> stupid disease. <laughs> to think I'd fall in love with my own attendant. 
How disgusting of me. <laughs> I'll clean this up later before she comes by. Real. <sighs>